Hello everybody and welcome back to the Kilmer Challenge from Lofstalen Ski Resort in Sweden. And it's empty! Woohoo! Let's go! So in today's episode there will be some of this. Cut, I'm going home. <laughs> There'll be some of this. <laughs> And there'll be some of this. <laughs> Go on, look at them all. Oh. But before all that, back to the man cave. Oh my god, look at the state of the man cave! What's happened in here? Well, some of that happened in here. <laughs> uh, mm, yeah, so it looks like I've got a little bit of work to do. Got some fishing lures, some headphones, some drills. Oh, I've been. Uh, renovating in the house and uh, there's rather a lot to do to tidy up however the battery testing continues it with one opus can you hear the fan oh dear that's not good that's not good look at this it has begun so this pile here are being tested and this pile over here look at my finger don't do DIY kids, it's dangerous. This pile here have all been tested and they're resting. Uh, behind the plasterboard here, that lot there have been waiting a month for me to check. And I am gonna check those, to see what their voltage is. They've all been capacity tested, but let's see whether or not they're gonna be any good or not. Cool. So today I get to meet a YouTube legend. Nay, superstar. Today I'm gonna to go and see Daniel from DIY Tech and Repairs because, very kindly, he's agreed to sell me some batteries. And I need batteries. Loads and loads and loads of batteries. And not just loads and loads of batteries, thousands of them, literally thousands of 18650 batteries because I'm building the power wall, a DIY power wall, as you know. But today, also, we're having a bit of fun. <laughs> Today, I'm queuing up a little bit of a surprise for Pete at Homebrew Power Walls. Pete, you know nothing about this, but you would do if you check your email. <laughs> What's cool today for me is that I'm at the very, very beginning of this project, the very beginning, and I've got a lot to learn. Specifically, as I'm starting with the electrical side of things and the power wall side of things, Daniel is very much established. He's got a load of experience. He's been doing it for a long time, and he probably has one of the biggest collections of 18650 batteries in the whole of Sweden, potentially. And one of the things I'm beginning to sort of come to terms with and struggling with frankly is the my lack of Swedish language is gonna be a problem here because uh, the regulations in Sweden are I would say pretty normal pretty sensible uh, proportionate uh, based on uh, my experience of um, legalities and rules uh, in other parts of the world however um, the words, I don't understand the words very well at all uh, and obviously I'll be able to ask Daniel uh, a load of questions so I'm going in there with thousands of questions all of which I'm going to forget. So now is probably a good time to give you a sit rep of the whole project. Obviously I've now started with the power wall, I'm now 
uh, acquiring 18650 batteries in any way I possibly can. That's begging, borrowing, stealing, blatantly taking, and very much blagging. Uh, or today, obviously, I'm really excited because I'm going to be able to go and buy some from uh, the YouTube legend, Daniel, uh, from uh, DIY Tech and Repairs. But I've started. I've started processing batteries. Um, I've got about... Oh, I'm going to say 120 tested and currently resting. Um, I've got a long way to go with that. A long way to go. Log burner wise, I'm pretty confident I've chosen the log burner that I want. I'll give you some more details of that later on, probably later in the project because I'm busy on the electrical side at the moment. And solar panels, oh man, this is difficult. Does anyone know a piece of software or a website where you can put the dimensions of your roof in? and the dimensions of the solar panels that you're looking for and then it tells you how many you can fit and what layout and strings and what configuration and rails and that's the big gap at the moment solar panels I'm not 100% sure yet how to plan for my solar panels obviously they're dealing with very high voltage stuff I do have a couple of names and telephone numbers now of uh, solar panel specialists so I am going to be able to get some help but I'm still in the early planning stage so a lot to do a lot to do but today is all about buying batteries from the legend that is Daniel from DIY Tech and Repairs road trip without a McDonald's is it? <laughs> so let's see what wonderful magic goodies and surprises we've got in here today. Whoa. Chips, gotta love chips. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. This whole YouTube channel is just about me eating McDonald's, have you noticed? <laughs> nom, nom, nom. there we're nearly there according to the map getting close now is this it is this it this is it this is it there's his house yes we made it two and a half hours this is it well, I made it, and uh, this guy needs no introduction. <laughs> it's Daniel from DIY Tech and Repairs. Uh, link to his channel below. Um, obviously, I've come here to buy a shit ton of batteries. Thanks, Daniel, for that. Um, can I ask you some questions? Just some basic questions. Um, so I'm a complete beginner, an absolute newbie. Uh, how many batteries, how many uh, 18650 batteries do you own? How many are there in this building right now, in total, ish? Uh, that, that's interesting. Um, I have 29,000 in use. Oh, 29,000. I can't even work out how many <laughs> kilowatt hours that is. Yeah. Uh, in, in this building I have more, but I don't know really. And for complete and utter beginners like myself, what advice can you give us in terms of where can we find information and where can we ask questions and where can we kind of meet other people who are starting the journey at the same time as well? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, of course, I would say the forum and the Facebook group, the yeah. IY Power Walls. Yeah. Um, with that said, um, friends and families. Not interesting. Because it's not always, you need to take a, take a little bit of thinking of the safety as well. Yeah. And the time. It yeah. takes a lot of time to work with this. Yeah. But generally, the information that you need to build, you have it on YouTube, you have seen my channel, of course, and you have yeah, the forum yeah. and you have the other ones. So, mm. um, In your experience, can 18650s explode? Common question. Something that I'm really <laughs> worried about. Can they just explode? Um, yes. 
They can. They can. Right, cut. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are pretty safe. Yeah? I, I would consider them really safe. Uh, if you mistreat them, yes, they can explode. Yeah. And last question, uh, and it's the question which everybody asks, uh, where can I buy batteries? I'm just constantly trying to find batteries. Obviously now I've found you, I can buy batteries, but for someone starting, where can they go to try and find some batteries? Um, I generally say that you should ask around. Uh, ask computer shops, ask repair shops. There are a lot of uh, e-bikes and stuff like that nowadays, yeah, yeah. and they swap out a lot of batteries. Mm. Um, the forum and the Facebook do have some that you can buy as well, uh, but uh, Junkyards is getting more and more electric vehicles ah, as well. Ah, Junkyards, that's a good one. So you can actually look up <clears throat> batteries there. That's but a good idea. It's hard, it's uh, difficult in some areas. Mm. Mm. Good, so there you have it. Daniel from DIY Tech and Repairs, thank you very much indeed, thank you for your time. Thank and you. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one, goodbye. Well, I tell you what, what a nice guy. and. What he doesn't know about batteries and solar power, it's not worth knowing. And to think he's just two hours down the road. <laughs> Result. Right, let me get this place tidied up and then I'll show you what I got. Right, would you like to see what I've got? Would you like to see some toys? Yes, you would. Here we go. Let me show you what I bought from Daniel. Uh, if I can, if I can lift it. Whew. That's one. Oh, this one's really heavy. Give us a hernia here. <clears throat> okay, here we go. I can do this from the knees. Whoa! Look at them all. Two hundred and fifty. Pretty much mostly, if not all, branded laptop batteries. Lenovo, Dell, Lenovo. Lenovo, nothing, which is kind of unbranded Chinese stuff, absolutely brilliant. I mean, look at them all, there's so many of them, and they are, can we get any of these open? Let's see what's inside, oh, little, here we go, LG's in there, that's good, that's very good, what we got on this one, should be wearing gloves. LG's in that one as well. Oh yes, where do I start? Where do I start? So, 250 used, faulty, broken, whatever you want to call it, laptop batteries in here. Uh, each cell, sorry, each battery contains anywhere between four to nine cells. And usually one in 10 or maybe two in 10 won't pass quality control, they're dead, or they won't charge, or they're zero volts, or they're heaters, uh, they generate heat, so they'll get uh, recycled. And the rest uh, will be uh, charged up, capacity tested, and stored, ready for the construction of the power wall, which will go here, or here, depending on how it goes, because we haven't decided it, or I haven't decided yet. Um, so in these two boxes alone, I've got about 1,000 cells. Now you add that together with the 900-ish cells I got a couple of weeks ago when I went up to Stockholm on the other road trip. Um, we're nearly at 2,000 cells. Now I've got a lot to do to process them. I've got a lot to do to be able to get them all tested and make sure that everything's safe and everything's ready. But I really feel like I'm getting somewhere now. I really feel like it started. Well, we haven't started. Let's face it, we're well on our way. So, that's it for this one. Thank you very much for your time. Don't forget to give me some of that. <laughs> I nicked this idea from Colin Furs. And don't forget to click the bell. Thanks and goodbye.